What's up guys, it's your boy Dylan Warren. We are back with part three of this little web series we're doing um, on how to fix your mountain board. Um, last week I was getting ready to do the barrack show and I was hoping to get the entire series done but I'll turn out of time. But the show went awesome, we taught many kids how to ride, we did five sun shows, we did a night show, it was sick. Um, you can check out more footage of that in um, an edit I'm working on at the moment. Um, and it'll be up on the Australian Mountain Boarders YouTube channel. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to that because a lot of our uh, event stuff goes on that page. Um, all right, so today we are going to change out our tires. We're gonna put some fresh T3, MBS T3 tires on, and I'm gonna show you how to fix a tube with a puncture in it. So let's get stuck into it. All right, obviously the first thing you need to do is take off your old hubs, wheels, get a, uh, a shifter or a spanner, anti-clockwise, and pull your wheels off. Alright, once you've got all your wheels off, your board should look like this. Then you'll get your old, your old wheel. On pretty much all the MBS hubs, there's five bolts, okay? and all of them are Allen key adjustable. So what we're gonna do now is actually take these nuts off so we can separate the rims and remove our tube. So like I said in the last video, I like to cut a um, Allen key in half so I can put it in my drill. You can also buy them like that from your local hardware store. But all I'm gonna do is press it out. It's a lot quicker than doing it. Just a normal one, okay. Alright, so once you've removed all five of the uh, nuts and bolts, pull off the two side rims, and then in the middle of that, there's normally a round metal Duvalaki plate. <laughs> pull that out, and then you're gonna pull your tube out. Now, before you do anything, what I like to do is Normally most of the time you'll run over a nail or a thorn or a prickle or something in the ground that's pierced your tube. So I like to go back over my tube, uh, tire and see if I can find anything um, that's still stuck in the tire. So sometimes what might happen is you put a brand new tube in and then it'll go flat straight away because you've left whatever sharp object was still in the tire. So just have a quick look, make sure there's nothing in there and then we're on to step three. Once you've got your rims um, apart, I normally just to like to uh, give it a quick wipe over with a damp towel and just make sure you've got all the clunk out of your bearings and all the dirt and grime and when you assemble it again, it'll be looking fresh and feeling good. Also, I was thinking too, if um, you've ever had Matrix Pro wheels and you've um, noticed they've become a bit wobbly um, when you spin them, um, that's sometimes because um, these bolts can actually bend slightly and that's what makes your, your wheel go wobbly. So when you've pulled apart your wheel, you can actually go back and try and bend your bolts back to straight and that should correct your wheel and make them spin true again. Most of the time that's the case and there's nothing actually wrong with your wheels, it's just the bolts, so check that out. So now I'm gonna go get a bucket of water and we're gonna test this tube and try and find where the hole is. All right. So, go to grab a pump and inflate your tube. Looks kind of crazy, doesn't it? Alright, once you've inflated your tube, we're going to put the tube into the water um, and we're going to see where there's bubbles coming from and that's an indicator where the air is coming through the tube and that's where we'll know where the actual hole on the tube is. All right. We're going to submerge the tube into the water and we're going to wait to see if we can see any bubbles coming out. And hopefully you guys can see that. But right at the back here, there's bubbles coming out on the top of the tube. So what I'm going to do is going to put my thumb on the hole so I know where it is. And it's right there. Alright, so I bought this repair kit here from my local bike shop. I think you can even get them at the uh, grocery store or your local $2 shop. They cost, I think, $5 and all it is is a patch repair kit for bikes, okay? 
So they normally come with a uh, patch, your glues, instructions, sandpaper, and sometimes a little bit of chalk so you can mark your hole. So um, what you're going to do is you're going to get the, um, the rubber cement, the adhesive that it comes with, and you're just going to put it on the area that surrounds your hole. So just like that, I'm just sort of massaging the glue into the area. Once you've done that, you get one of these patches, and I like just to hold the, uh, the patch on there for a couple of seconds, just for the uh, glue to adhere to the patch. Alright, once you've glued your uh, patch on, you just got to peel the plastic wrapper back, and I like to just work my way over top of it and just make sure it's all down flat. Whip it off. And then if you want to double check to make sure it's um, sealed, you can go back to your bucket of water, submerge it again, and look for any bubbles. This one's passed the test, and now we are going to dry it off, and we're going to put the wheel back together. So it's pretty quick and easy just to, um, to patch a, a tube, instead of um, having to buy a complete new tube, um, and it'll save you a lot of money in the long run. When you're out in the session and you do get a flat tire, it's pretty easy to just get a punch of repair kit and fix it on the hill. Um, you can just uh, bring a bottle of water out and submerge it in your bottle of water or have a little tub ready to go. Or you can just put up the, try and find where the hole is and put it up to your face and feel where the air is sort of blowing on you and you can find where the hole is. So I'm going to grab my brand new tire. These are the T3 tires. Um, I'm a big fan of the T1 tyres, but this is just what I've got today. Now, I had to do this stuff anyway, but I thought you guys might find this useful. So, if you did find this video useful, leave me a little thumbs up, leave us a comment. It all makes it worth it. So, I've pushed my tube back into the new tyre. I'm going to grab the metal sleeve, put it back over the valve, through the hole. Push it back. Now this is an important bit, you want to make sure your tube is not hanging out the sides of the tyre because when you inflate it, it can actually pop the tube again. So once it's looking pretty sweet, your sleeve's all flush to the tyre, now we're going to put the hub back on. Alright, the wheel is completely reassembled. I'm just going to pump it up and uh, I normally put so I normally put 100 psi in my mount ball wheels and that's because I like to go really fast when I'm running concrete, skate parks, street spots. Rockstar Pro hubs, they're the only hubs that can handle that much tyre pressure so if you've got the twisters or the Rockstar 2, uh, Rockstar 1s, um, I wouldn't put that much tyre pressure in it but if you want to have enough speed to ride the skate park or uh, yeah, if you like riding the streets like we do. I recommend having a ton of tyre pressure. And there we have it, brand new wheel. Now I'm just going to replace all of my wheels because they're all flat. And then we'll be good to go riding. And in next week's vlog, I'm actually going to do a giveaway where you can win these stickers. So make sure you subscribe to this, uh, to this channel. And you can also click the little bell notification below, which actually notifies you every time a new mountboard video comes up. Alright, so there we go. Brand new tyres. Brand new grip tape. And um, brand new trucks. The stickers are looking awesome. I'm super stoked. Shout out to Craig on that one. But yeah. Thanks a lot for watching guys, if you have any suggestions for any videos you'd like to see, anything you'd like to learn, leave a message in the comments below, also give us a thumbs up. But uh, yeah, until next week's video, I'll see you then, bye!